Paul Johansson is thinking back on how his mental health was affected by playing Dan Scott on One Tree Hill. The 59-year-old former WB star made an appearance on the Trying to Figure It Out with Ally Petiti podcast on Tuesday. The episode, Figuring It Out with One Tree Hill's infamous villain, Paul Johansson, highlighted his battles with drinking and depression over the 2003-2012 season of the show. It was terrible, he declared. I was drinking and I was so depressed, I've never talked about this before. I was enjoying a few bottles of wine by myself every evening. It wasn't easy for maybe six or seven years. Johansson portrayed Dan, the domineering father of James Lafferty's Nathan Scott and Chad Michael Murray's Lucas Scott, basketball prodigies. Like his brother, Lucas was a gifted athlete, but he was an outsider. Sophia Bush played Brooke Davis in the nine-season television series, which was set in the made-up town of Tree Hill, North Carolina. Brooke Davis was a cheerleader in high school before transitioning into a businesswoman. This was one of Sophia Bush's breakthrough roles. It was just a time when I think I was absorbing the energy of the people that were looking at me and seeing me as something that's bad, Johansson said. For me, the only way out of it was for the show to finish. I long to be outside, experience different characters, and feel different emotions, but because of that show, I kept getting cast as the evil guy. I was put in a box by it. September marked the television drama's 20th anniversary. Some of the cast members honored the show that went on to become ingrained in pop culture history in order to commemorate the occasion. Murray, 42, said on social media, Happy 20th Fam No. 3, to the tune of I Don't Want to Be, which is Gavin DeGraw's theme song for One Tree Hill. If you would have asked me back in 2003. I never would have thought we'd still have this magical bond, the actor continued feeling appreciative. The SAG AFRA strikes prevented Bethany Joy Lenz, who played Haley James Scott, from naming the program specifically, instead, she honored 20 years of female friendships. Not gonna mention the job that's turning 20 today while our union is on strike, she said. Rather, through at Drama Queenseth, I will commemorate 20 years of female friendships serving as the ultimate love tales and the reclamation of our good, terrible, ugly, and beautiful. We are grateful to our hashtag fanfam for inspiring us to discover and express our voices both on and off screen. 20 years and hashtag lucky 23. Even though the program concluded 20 years ago, there might be a unique project in the works. Murray discussed the prospect of a remake with E! News earlier this month. There will be an event. I don't know what it will be, he said to the outlet, whether we gather everyone together and conduct a live reading of the show or we write a brand new, made-up episode in the future. To get in touch with a licensed crisis counselor, text STRENGTH to the crisis text line at 741 to 741 if you or someone you know needs mental health assistance.